Hey, I'm Todd Price, dining writer for Where, Where Nola Eats. It's the dining team at NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. And we are at a brand new place, opened by a guy you might know. We are at Fireman Mike's Cafe and Sweet Shop, open Tuesday on West Harrison here in Lakeview. We're gonna go inside, check it out, and talk to Mike himself. Hey, Mike. Hey, Todd. How Good are you? See Welcome you. to the yeah, place, man. Thank you. Thank Come on you. in. So. Fireman Mike, Got a why do they call you Fireman Mike? Well, uh, you know, we kind of went with that when we started Jazz Fest. I did do 20 yeah. years on New Orleans Fire Department. Yeah. And that's kind of the motif, you know, so we had a lot of fire stuff in here, including some calendar picks. Uh -huh. um, we got a lot of uh, my cooking competition stuff, some chop stuff, some yep. deep fried masters. And how long were you on the fire department? I was on the fire department for 20 years. 20 also years. I also had two brother-in-laws that were on the job for 30 years. Yeah. And my son-in-law, son who's deceased, was a captain at a, at a volunteer company. So, so we have his memory up in here too. So the family's family. got a lot of history. A lot, of, fire fire, fire, a lot of Now, fire how history. long have you been a Jazz Fest vendor? Because most people, when they know you, they know you for yes. being on a Jazz Seven, Fest. 17 years. 17, 17 years. years yep. Jazz Fest. And you have two booths out of Jazz Fest. Now we have two, right? Yeah. We're doing the kids' booth. And yeah. It's, it's fun. So, what kind of stuff do you make out of Jazz Fest? <laughs> jazz Fest, I do the alligator sauce pecan, yep. the shrimp and grits, and the shrimp and okra gumbo in the big booth. So, real classic traditional yeah. Louisiana yeah. cooking. Yes. So let's go inside and take Come a look at the Come dining room look. and talk about what you're doing here. First thing first is I'm very proud of the build out and everything done. It was yep. done by my wife, the construction manager. Oh wow, and, great. And my, my grandkids with their little cricket and creating the vinyl for the <laughs> stop, down and roll. But we also have the sweet shop. So we're doing my Creole food on poor boys and burgers and stuff uh -huh. like that. And then just to kind of add a little flair to Lakeview, nobody's doing the rolled ice cream. We don't really want to be a rolled ice cream shop, but <laughs> but we're adding it. You know, my wife yeah. does cakes. She makes the cupcakes out there. Yeah, yeah. And so um, we're going to do some cake and ice cream. So it'd be like a piece of cake with a rolled ice cream on it. Nice. You know, incorporate a couple things. And then just to be traditional with ice cream, we got um, Hershey's stuff that we're making shakes and floats mm -hmm. and doing dip stuff with. And we're working on a um, soft serve machine to do a dairy-free, sugar-free softer because there's a lot of Pilates girls on the block. Yeah. So again, we are here at Fireman Mike's <laughs> Cafe and Sweet Shop. This is Fireman Mike himself, open Tuesday. Doing? It's on West Harrison out in Lakeview. Now, I know uh, you do a lot of traditional stuff out of Jazz. That's where you're a vendor. Right. I know you just opened Tuesday and the menu's not right. as big as it's going to get. Right. What's on the menu right now? In the open? Right now, we got three specialty fries. So I'm doing a lot with pulled pork. And uh, I do what I call a pig out fry. And it's just traditional fries top, topped with, it's kind of like a debris, but with pulled pork. So it's buffy yeah. pulled pork, the cheddar, the sour, and the jalapenos. But I create my own sweet potatoes. So I roast sweet potatoes, cool them down, and then I drop them to get them crispy in the fryer. I put the sweet, pot I put the, uh, the couchon, the pork over the top of that with a little apricot glaze and goat cheese and call it a sweet couchon poutine. <laughs> oh. I know you're doing a lot of po' boys right po now. Boys. What are some of the po non-traditional or po le boys. less traditional po' boys you're doing? Less traditional po' boys, we're doing a chicken on dewey that is chicken, uh, what I call the crystal fried chicken that we do out at Buku. Yeah. And then I make a little on dewey gravy and put it right over. It's delicious. Everybody seems to like it. Um, we have a I went down the block to, to Katie's and got the meatball poor boy and it's the best meatball I ever had so I didn't want to go up against it <laughs> and I, that day I said I'm gonna make a meatloaf poor boy well now Todd's made the meatloaf poor boy famous <laughs> and it's been our best seller well, we'll go check it out in a minute one last now I know you at Jazz Fest you do the more traditional stuff right you have that on the menu here like we do we do become, my wife like you that. know we were so crazy I, yep. I was just thinking about burgers fries and and poor boys and trying to keep in the tradition of the places that were here before that did a lot of takeout because yeah. they were fried yeah. chicken. So I wanted to push on that. And then my wife, like Sunday, said, well, you know there's going to be people looking for the stuff. So we yeah. added it as festival specials. I'm serving it just like I serve out there in a 12-ounce squat. Yeah. Put the lid on it. That way, if you don't finish it, you can take it home. Great. And, and it's just like going to Parkway where you're going to eat a pool boy and get your gumbo in a squat anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it all fell into place. I wish I could say I planned it, but, but, <laughs> but I did. All right, we're going to have back to the kitchen. Before we do, let me remind you, we are here with Fireman Mike at his new place on West Harrison in Lakeview. It's Fireman Mike's Cafe and Sweet Shop. Let's go in the kitchen and check some things out. Come see you there. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's like we got a fire truck right here. You jump right on the back. Yeah, the fire truck. <laughs> she did a great job. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna really talk loud because we're back here in the kitchen. Yeah, there. So like I said, Todd made the uh, meatloaf kind of famous. <laughs> so I, I do what I can. In the middle of lunch, I had to make two more meatloaf. <laughs> 
but again, showing you the, the simplicity of what we got going on, the pull bar is just pretty easy, you know, so what kind of bread do you use? Ooh la la, nah, man. There you go. And uh, I gotta tell you, I was excited, as excited about um, getting live nam is in here, you know, I cooked for bozos for so many years. Yeah. And if I had a nickel for every loaf of live nam I cut up, I'd be a rich man. But when I went to a restaurant show, Grilling the bread. I like when to I went that. to a restaurant show, yeah. I walked up to the live nam booth and I said, hey, I want to get a, some kind of different one. Of course, I want your bread. And they said, well, who are you? I said, Farmer Mike. Said, Farmer Mike, you're open. We want to get in your place. I'm like, well, I want you as bad as you want me. <laughs> so they've been awesome. They've been really great. That's great. But again, you know, butter our little bread. Yeah. Get a little grill on it. Yeah. And then watch how easy this is. Here's a, here's a, a barbecue pulled pork. Barbecue pulled pork, all right. And we do a lot with this. So not only do we make those this, but we make those potatoes that we just talked about. We're gonna eventually create a salad with it. So yes, and then we just come over here to finish off the uh, the couchon and all this little coleslaw. There and it's go. a beautiful mix because you got your your sauce, your your barbecue sauce from your you know obviously from your uh, pulled pork. And then the mayo, which I use, I make a crystal aioli to create the crystal coleslaw. Nice. And uh, those two join together with some nice crispy lot of bread. A little slaw to make it a little bit of crunch. A beautiful little salad. There we go. All right. Oh, all right. I think you got to dig in this time. I'm, yo, I got to dig in. All right. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> It's been good I'm making a mess, but it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Not no <knowledge. laughs> yeah. You want to jump in on the other half? Yeah, sure. Cool. I love this one of my favorite parts. Tell me what you're tasting right now, Todd. This is like sweet and spicy. This is Cochon Lake Bow Boy here at Fireman Mike's Cafe and Sweet Shop That's in it. Lakeview on West Harrison, open Tuesday. Get no Fireman Mike from Jazz Fest, probably. He's been a vendor there for ages. Uh, and. Thanks for showing us around. Thanks for having us. Nice right. coming in, man. Yeah. I really appreciate you. it. <laughs> We're going to head back out there and see some of the memorabilia real quick before we sign off. Thank you. Okay. All right. I was coming to hand you napkins. <laughs> so, again, next thing would be about 100 years old. Lots of, lots of articles have been written on me over the years, and they put a bunch of those in, a couple of national publications. This I did was the food looter. I don't know if you remember when uh, when um, East Coast Choppers or whatever those guys were, the father and son oh, stopped yeah, on, on yeah. TLC. Mm -hmm. John Best tried to do a show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, the Buddha was a show put together by Pie Town Productions out of L.A., and the Buddha made his notoriety at Koi in Los Angeles uh -huh. and opened a place in San Francisco that was like the best new restaurant in the country. Huh. Sold it and he's in Chicago doing big conglomerate of all kind of Asian stuff. <clears throat> but they, they, were, they created a pilot uh -huh. but he would go in the cities and in search of recipes for his cooking to take back to yeah. Asian eyes. The twist on the show was that to leave no stone unturned, you ordered one of everything off the menu at the places that we went to. So we actually ate for three days, and then before we left, we went to dinner. <laughs> one of our viewers have a question for you. Oh, Do you question. deliver out of state? I'm sorry? Do you deliver out of state? Out of state? Uh, out of state? Yeah, like Fort even, Worth, Texas. We got somebody tuning in. about it, but, but now, now she's got me thinking about something. We, we, <laughs> we might have to start working on that. <laughs> so right now, are you just kind of delivering locally, or? Actually, we're not even delivering. Um, it, Take out people are usually call, calling in and, and coming to grab it. Um, we do plan on getting to waiter. Mm -hmm. The the demographic that is our main thing is is small enough spot that the families come walking around here. I mean, it's really a lot of young families. And we're just blessed with that. But again, this is day three. As the time <laughs> goes on, we're gonna see what we need to do. We're open to anything. Yeah. Does it feel good to finally be open? Oh, it feels great. It's, it's taken us six months to, to put together. But again, my wife did all this. I mean, I couldn't have paid anybody 
twenty thousand dollars to do it, you know. And uh, and and it was a family thing. I mean, it was just great. My grandkids here every night, kind of piddling around during the summer, and we had to we had to send them home at ten once school started so they could get some sleep. But it's really been fun. It's really been fun, and I think it's going to pay off. <laughs> great. All right. Well, thank you so much for having us. All right. Thank Have you. a good rest of your thank day. You. Thank you. Yeah.